guys, I just killed the horse. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I just killed a horse. So, uh, good morning. Welcome to today. What are you doing, Sophie? I'm making a hobby horse because just... all the hobby horses are like $300. Are they? Yes. Wow, the nice ones? Yes. Wow. We have some. So I'm going to look for them. Once I save up enough money, I'm going to begin that. I have the skeleton. Because I don't think any parent wants to spend $300. Look, here's the skeleton of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's the tail. Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, as, as you saw, yeah, Sophie. He's trying to make a hobby horse. So basically, at the show, like at our barn show, they're having a hobby horse yeah. course. So they can sign up and run a hobby horse course, which is super exciting. Which is super exciting. They are bringing hobby horsing back. Just pull it. Just pull it. Gabby is not strong. <laughs> now you gotta turn it, and you go like this. And you zip tie it like that. Yeah. It's, it's so hard. cute, but I think you should adjust it too. Like, I think you should make it. I think you should put like a nicer mane. I'll show you how to make a mane. What color horse? Can I just zip tie it? I love it. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, zip tie it. <laughs> she's, she's, you're so good, so. Um, but my first plan was. Oh, hold this. So I think she should embellish him. She's got like other parts of him, like the bottom half of him, and I think she should make a really nice mane. Because this thing got washed before and its mane got all matted. <laughs> we're all doing it together. Oh, I love it. All right, so you have to fix it though. Like, there's a lot of fixing I need to that has this. To, yeah, and to put it on. I have to hit it. I'll show you how to make a uh, mane out of yard. I'm gonna yard. scare my dog with it. We need a we need like white mane. He's like, yeah, it's, it's terrifying. Help me, right. that horse is terrifying. And then Ellie gets so jealous when I love on any other dog. She's just like, she like will she say, get, get away from them. <laughs> get away. It's, El it's Daisy's turn for love. It's Daisy's turn. This thing was inside the horse. I hated that and it's it's really cool though. It's posable. It makes it posable. It's like you, we could do anything with this now. Like we could make anything with this. It's so super cool. I love it. Today I was cleaning up my bedroom. I was like cleaning up my dresser drawers and I found this bracelet that someone made for me and it says Penny on it and so I'm wearing it. Why are my horse? Every one of us has stuff in our bedroom that are from fans. I, thought that was I also found this thing that was a, like a cat collar and it says dustpan on it. Can you guys see it? So I'm gonna give this to Nick, my son Nick. He's the one that has our cat and they love her. Like they're absolutely in love with her. So I'm gonna give this to Nick and let it be a memento for them. I have them too. Debbie has them too. Let's see yours. Chino and Storm. Aww, I love them. I still plan to make a video about Ellie and update you guys because the last three months have been like, so crazy there's been so many changes so many things that she's taught me and i want to make an update video but the biggest thing of all that i wanted to tell you guys is that watching her run behind my horse yesterday was literally even our coach was surprised about how like good she is with the horses and how she like stays out, out from underneath her feet but that she's always in there and she's always like her personality is what I value so much. Like I love a, a good work ethic and I love like motivation and I, she's just amazing. She's just literally the best thing. Also a lot dirty. <laughs> I have to brush her hair this morning and put it up for her. Honestly, I can't even, like when I first got her, I thought like, oh, what did I do? This dog is like insane. And now that I've spent time with her and bonded with her, like I cannot believe how lucky I am. Like Yorkies are where it's at. If you want a dog that has high energy to keep up with your lifestyle, holy heck. Not only does she have the high energy though, she has the brain, like she has the logic. She's like so bonded and she just stays with you. Like she's, oh my gosh, I can't even say enough good things about Yorkies. Like no wonder people who love them, love them. Horses are all out having breakfast. Living life. Okay, so I am finally getting to planting my vegetables that the girls and I planted this this spring. And oh, uh, so so frustrating, but when you plant flowers, so you guys saw mine got really long and tall. Like this one looked this big and I cut the top. 
even though it's already starting to get ready to grow flowers I cut the whole top off and then like this one right here I'm gonna cut this one off <laughs> it's so sad <laughs> but if you cut the tops off of them and this one's probably gonna be okay though but if you cut the tops off it causes them to grow bushier it's also better to cut these little things off the sides so <sighs> Sad. I hate cutting my plants down, but it has to be done. It's the same kind that always breaks. Okay, so I, I don't even know what how to like, what does it mean when you keep finding birds in your house? Honestly, what does it mean? It's attached to me now. Show it. The back of it. I don't want to let it go. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's the weirdest thing. It's weird. <laughs> Digging its nails into me. Go. Go, little bird. <laughs> Like, and Sophie catches them every time. But we've had birds. Look, he looks stressed. Yeah. What's wrong? It's okay. You can go. What's wrong? You can see how shaky my hand is. It's okay. It must be, maybe, I don't know. Look at it, it's brown. It's the same kind that always breaks in. Look, I see so. Look at that, must be his mom. Go. If It's attached to me. There might be a fledgling. I honestly believe that when birds come to you like this and are like friendly like this, it's always a sign from heaven. What are you trying to tell us, little guy? Oh, you're so cute. It's so cute. It finally happened. Can you guys see it? It literally happened. Gracie and Storm and Honey all in a row. Honey on my hobby horse? I don't think so. She was hoping to use a halter. That fit it. honey on her hobby horse. Horses are in for the afternoon and then they'll go back out after. Well, That's your so hair be. Cute little pony. Yeah, we should. So we're going to do some work. We're going shopping right now. She hates her mane and tail being touched. We're letting the horses relax and burn and like. It's like they had no water this whole time, but they have a fresh new bucket of water. I know, they always come in and drink, even though they have water in the field, but it's probably because they're like, if I, look at her belly's got strings. If I go out there and Here, and drink, I'm taking away time from my eating. Oh, look, Penny. Penny's like, oh, I got a belly ache. They always get bloated. Look how cute she is. I know, well why don't we, uh, so Sylvia and I are gonna ride today. Are. Yeah, you said, and she, know, she stormed these. No. Wait. Yeah. I got messed up because I rode Penny yesterday. Yeah. So we're going to ride. I'm excited. Storm's Aww. an angel's ride compared to Penny. Penny doesn't listen to your legs. She doesn't listen to anything. <laughs> no. <gasps> and Storm, you think about moving over? He moves over. So uh, Gabby trained Storm really good. She didn't give him any opportunity to misbehave, which is awesome. Oh no, I lost my phone. But here's the thing about Penny I wanted to tell you guys. So Penny's whole life, she was like a, a horse, a trail horse Wait, for beginners. Wait, if we put Gabby in the tire and rolled it down the hill, it would be fun. So she was like a trail horse for beginners, just like the Pasofinos. Her job, her whole life was like the Pasofinos. And when you go and ride the Pasofinos, it's so apparent, it's so apparent so quickly that you just have to sit on that, those horses and let them go and they'll take you anywhere. And the Pasofinos was my dream, you guys. It was literally my dream. I wanted a horse just like the Pasofinos that I could sit on and she would just take care of me. Penny, it took all types of beginner horse people out up into the mountains in America. Like she, that's what she did. That was her whole journey. She was ridden by little tiny kids. She was ridden by beginners. And her job was to be like at the head of the trail and to lead the trail and to manage everything. It was her job to take care of everything and that's what she does. And that and that's what I love about her. I honestly don't want to change that. I want her to just continue the way that she is. I want her to be that lead horse that goes out there and handles everything. She knows her job so, so, so well. So when we're in the arena and she's herd bound and she's like not behaving, I don't want to take that from her. I don't, at this point in her journey, she's 17 years old, I don't want to be like, no, I'm the boss of you, you need to listen to me. Like, I trust her and she trusts me. And yeah, I'd like to ride around my property without her like trying to take me back to the barn. But I, it doesn't bother me that she does that. I don't get stressed because I trust her so much. 
um, having said that, I probably will have a few lessons on her just like so that I have something that I can do with her when we're at home. But my goal and my dream and Penny's dream is trail riding. She loves it. I can tell by the way when we get to the trail and she sees the trail, she's like, oh, thank God we're here. And she is like the best horse ever on the trail. So that's just a little bit of a explaining about um, how my rides with Penny go and how I don't like freak out or think I need to fix everything because she doesn't do arena work perfectly because on the trail she's perfect. All right, so we are at Costco to get our food. So the reason that we use this food, we only use it for Daisy, and it's because, and we add stuff to it, but the reason we get it is because Daisy can't eat regular dog food. She has to have like, she, she has to have- I can't in the pet aisle. Yeah, let's get out of the pet aisle. We're headed home now, and this is what, it's hard for you guys to see. But this is what our horses do after they've been on grass. So the baby's over there. Um, Gracie's in the back corner there. Willow and Penny are over here. I don't know where Storm is. Oh, Storm's in his stall having lunch. Storm gets those, we give Storm extra stuff because we want to bring his weight up a little. But yeah, this is where they stand in the middle of the afternoon, in the heat of the afternoon. It's Penny by the barrel. Penny's by the barrel. You know why she's by the barrel? Why is she by the barrel? All the time, she rubs her face on the fence there. By the barrel. Just really? Fence, yeah. Yeah. She scratches her face on there. And she stands there, and she they all get out of the heat. It's been awesome having that camera system. Like, if you don't have one, definitely get one. We've been trying, we were trying to find one that we liked for a long time. Guys, literally, we've been in the car this whole day. It's been the most annoying day. We went to Costco, and then we ended up having to pick something up. And basically, we've been in the car, it was like an hour away, we've been in the car, it's already 4.30. Time to put the horses out for dinner. I'm not gonna lie, the way that we do horses, hi, <laughs> were you coming in? <laughs> She's so cute. Look at how gorgeous her hair is. She trots everywhere. Grass is so good for babies. Morning. Um, I'm always feeling everybody's crest. Making sure everybody's good. Come here. Uh, but the way we do horses, like bringing them in and taking them out all the time and stuff, honestly, it's like a lot more work than just throwing your horse in the field. I honestly wanted to ride today so bad because we're at a horse show tomorrow and I'm not gonna get a chance again till the weekend. We must look ridiculous. <laughs> Two times a day, walking our horses out for food. <laughs> honey into me. <laughs> but I was, oopsie, stop. When I walk, honey, as soon as she gets to this field, she starts like tr trying to trot away and I'm like, stop. But she trusts into your back legs, so uh, she. Do you know like, what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to start dropping them off further into the field because when we drop them here, where the grass is short, it's not good for them. They travel. Penny absolutely does travel, and Storm will travel. Oh, look at this! Storm. He's mad at her for no reason. What was that about? Storm, don't you bother my horse. See, he just has to let everybody know that he's the boss of them. But at least they're getting exercise. <laughs> yeah, this he made peace storm. with these two today. When we first got horses, I loved like the horse part of it, but I never like really read up on a lot of stuff. Like it wasn't, I didn't understand a lot of it. It wasn't super interesting to me, but now that we have our horses and we've like settled in, look, the cat was here today eating um but now that we've like settled in and stuff i have gotten because i've gotten to be like really into it and i have read up on everything so today i was reading that like the best way to keep your horses from getting crusty is to give them salt, Ooh, salt. and magnesium aha uh -huh. freezies in the bar so i read that to add a little bit of water and then i put it on their food and it helps keep your horses not getting crusty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Like I already have salt and I already have magnesium. I'm gonna, I put it in this little container and I'm gonna try and see if I can keep our horses healthy on grass with something that reduces the crest. Honestly, he is such a butt. 
It's the energy he's getting off the grass. He's just been a tyrant the last few days. It's like he's got energy, so he wants everybody to have energy. I'm not gonna lie, if you guys remember, Storm was always that kind of a leader who was like mad and screaming at the horses all the time. Like he, nothing could be going on and he would just like all of a sudden just charge the horses. You guys remember like, do you remember the videos? Like when Kaylee and Gabby were riding Chino and Finn around the field and, and Storm just went galloping after them and tried to like fight Chino while Gabby was on him because he didn't want Gabby riding him. Uh, like he's, he's still the same. He's still the same. Like he keeps the horses on their toes. He's like, keeps them on edge all the time, which is frustrating a little bit because before he came home, they were all like really quiet and calm and uh, just a happy herd. Now they're all like waiting for him to like, lose his mind so uh, the reason it took us so long to get home from costco like we left in the morning and literally we've gone all day it's because we were driving home from costco and i said to sophie like our baby chickens they are in like our brooder box but it's time for them to like go outside and and be outside but i don't want them out at night yet and i don't want to just put them in so i don't want to put them with the other chickens yet because they'll be mean and they're not ready to go into the coop yet. So I was like, we need to like, let them be free range when we're outside with them so they get time outside each day, or we need to find something to put them in. So then I was just like, literally just scrolling on Facebook and I found this little chicken coop. So it's little, but absolutely perfect for just our little chickens for bringing out in the daytime. So this is what it looks like on the inside. We have everything we need. This is like where the, um, we're gonna put it together and then we'll give you a tour. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to show you right now. Not the nest, it oh, my chicken. Don't put your chicken in it, that's dirty. <laughs> Especially because birds carry germs right now. It is a bird nest. I know, we don't want our chickens around them. So basically it's just for the little chickens and it's only for the daytime. I'm going to dig and build the, I'm gonna get hardware cloth and dig it into the ground and put it out there. And until I do that, they won't be able to come out here at night. I, at all and this is what the coop looks like it's got these two little roosts two little Put nesting Ellie boxes it. See if it fits a chicken. it has this door here that opens so you can get the eggs see <coughs> oh look i found a little baby chicken <coughs> shavings make me choke ellie is so excited we're home um so this is the door and we have to put it on yeah why is there a door it's not like we need to go in there Sam will have to put it on, essentially. It, oops. So Sam will have to pick, fix the door. And I also have this stuff here that he's gonna put on this side. They had it like attached to a shed or whatever. It was like an outdoor kind of run. So we don't have an outdoor part. <laughs> so this is Marshmallow, my Silky. This is Marshmallow, her Silky. Oh no, she has black on her. <gasps> Where? No. Where? That's her skin. No, look, black feathers. Oh. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. She's burnt marshmallow. I burnt her. <laughs> She's a, maybe a paint. She got cooked too much in the egg. <laughs> you can barely see it, but yeah, there's a little bit of black there. I also have one that's named Biscuit. Yeah. So anyway, we just want to be able to put them out during the daytime for now. I, I like that this part's like small enough so that the chicken can't go through it. Yeah. That's the anyway, it was just something like that we wanted to get so that the babies can come outside while we're waiting for them to be big enough to go in with the other ones. So Sam's gonna have to do a little bit of work on it. Sure. It also has this tray. So you can clean the poo. Yeah, so you can How clean the poo. Are supposed to go in there. I'm supposed to just take it out, dump the poo, and put it back in. Well, I like shavings in there. This is chicken strips. She's named after one of our old chickens. So this is one name. of the chickens that we hatched, and it's a little hen. Aw, I love their sounds. Listen to her. Aw, she's so she cute. She has black on her beak. Yeah, really cute. Isn't she cute, though? <laughs> At least I got love her. I love her. <laughs> I just want to kiss her. <laughs> I just want to eat her. Anyway, she's super cute, and she's gonna lay pink eggs. Ellie, Jesus. She came out of a pink egg, and she is gonna lay pink eggs for us. Um, this is my white one. Her name's Snow White, because she's white. So we kept four 
of those chickens and then our little silkies. She didn't want to keep her. I know, I didn't want to keep her because she's just, I mean, she's white with a little bit of brown. I love brown. white chickens, they're so cute. It's my mom's, oh, she has brown on her. So this is my little rye neck girl. Do you guys remember when I had the rye neck girl? And I had to take care of her. She's an Easter egg. I'm so glad she came back. She was the one that couldn't stand up and her neck uh, kept... Oh, this is Belle. Yeah, her neck kept flipping over and stuff. Well, this is her. <laughs> and she's doing perfect. She's back to normal. She's back to health. I I fixed her right up. <laughs> and and she's definitely super friendly. And when I hold her, like, she, she looks at me. Hey. Hi, baby. Do you remember me? Remember this chicken was in love with me. Hi. And she would stare straight in my eyes all the time. Now she just looks like, you know, I love her. This, my friend, is Goldie. This is Goldie. She's with the Silkies. She's not a silky. She's a... She's a Goldie. <laughs> well, I forget, but she, she lays... She's spotted. That's I think I she like lays it. green eggs. I like spotted animals. I know. You really do. Sophie made a hobby horse today. Its head's very small. Its head is very tiny. But it's cute. It's like Storm. Good yeah, Pacino. yeah, it's a it's a storm hobby horse. This is what we got at Costco. We got dog food. We got bug spray because it's bug spray season, and we're probably gonna need it tomorrow. And we got this. What the heck? Stereo wireless rechargeable speakers. You know what this is good for? This is, I don't even. I wasn't even with Sam when he bought this. This is good for like when I'm in the trailer, and I need to tell him stuff. I don't know. Sometimes he buys dumb stuff. Don't you know that you're beautiful?